Hey guys, look what we've got. It's the Manchester United shirt for the 2019-20 season. I'm a City fan, so I'm going to put it over to Phil's side. It's not uh, much better over here. <laughs> he's a Liverpool fan as well. <laughs> Welcome back to footy.com. My name is Stephen. This is Phil Delves alongside me. If you don't know, we're reviewing all the kits for the 2019-20 season. Obviously, this one's a big one. United's new kit. Uh, United's new Champions League 1998-99 season inspired mm. winning kit. Uh, we're going to run through that today. We're going to review it. But don't forget, if you are new to this channel and you love talking about shirts like we do, over here at footy.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've reviewed so many kits so far. Like, uh, let me have a quick look. We've got like Bayerns, we've got Liverpool's, Chelsea's, Dortmund's, Rangers, Celtic, Corinthians, Leicester. And we've got a couple more coming this weekend, including Ajax and Munch and Gladbach, I reckon, as well. Mm. And loads more next week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. But today, we're looking a lot closer to home. We're going to Manchester United's new 2019 20 kit season. Phil, talk us through your initial thoughts on this shirt. I think this shirt. <laughs> It's caused a lot of, um, I won't say controversy, but negative. I've seen a lot of negativity online about the shirt. Actually, when you, when you look at it, and it's really good to get up close because there are really nice details. Um, however, I do find the whole concept, and I think I mentioned this on Twitter, <laughs> of, of a shirt based on, albeit a very memorable, memorable It's very game. memorable, to be fair. This is coming from myself as well. It, it is. And I think, uh, it for me, it's just, if you're going to refer to the kit, it... it I, it's an interesting take because it's quite minimal and I, I do again I appreciate the, the execution of things like these little details here now it looks great I think that patch you know it's a nice little strip which says uh, 90 plus one so that the, the, obviously one of the goals on the other yeah. goal on the other sleeve but it's just quite odd for the whole season to have that um, I kind of joked in saying that you know what happens if they lose a crucial game in the 93rd <laughs> minute <laughs> they've then got a, a permanent reminder but, a sleeve. yeah but but you know what I mean it is again quite nicely done with the stars um, but of course they're not even in the Champions League so it, it's that's the I thing there's isn't a tension it? isn't there it's also a strange I would have thought this season that we're currently about to finish would have been the one where they did this kick because this was yes. literally the 20th season after <laughs> oh, I mean it's been 20 years technically until they're about to win it but it makes no season no no sense to me to not it's match the season because no Normally when these limited edition kits happen, or what's not a limited edition kit, or tribute kits happen, yes, yeah, yeah. they normally just literally match the exact season that the thing happened in. Yep. I.e. this was a, that was a 98-99 season, so surely uh, the 2018-19 uh, season. But yep. it's not they've not done that, which is yeah. a bit odd really, isn't it? It is, and it it's a very good point. I didn't actually realise that at first, I must, I must admit. Uh, but it does feel a little bit... I mean, obviously this kit would have been... The, the, the idea for the kit would have started way before... Um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer took over yeah. but it has that kind of feel almost like they were trying to capitalise on that obviously they weren't but yeah I mean I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised but yeah, yeah, no. yeah and I think you know in terms of other details I may be controversial to quite like the crest I know a lot of people no say, I understand that yeah, yeah, yeah. I think and this kind of shield idea which of course they had in, in the 99 season and we were looking this morning at how that was interesting that that was like the cup kit of that time. Yeah, they had two. You don't see that much these days. They essentially no. had two home kits that year, which is very, very rare. Yeah, the, the I only, can't remember the last time I saw that. The only team I can think of isn't in England, but Dortmund do that for for they have okay. a cup kit. But, but, yeah, they, and it's even then, that. like the more different than you remember, they're like yep. totally different kits. Yep. They'll be on screen now at the side next to me here. Yep. You've got basically the uh, tra traditional kind of sharp uh, umbro pattern down the side, and the other one it was just a completely different kit. So that just doesn't happen anymore. I guess it maybe doesn't. we're in an era where third kit's a lot more uh, Very true. more prominent Very true. so maybe it's just that kind of thing where it's just like they've gone that way instead and I guess it's just not uh, mm. logistical enough to make two different versions of the hookers for whatever reason but I quite like the crest too really yeah. like you can't really tell we'll put it close to the camera and all this kind of stuff in a second but like basically it's like a rubbery texture on the bands which is very rare normally they feel stitched kind of thing but it what is that material like it is yeah no you're right it, I mean it's I'm, very weird I believe feeling. this is the replica shirt as well I have to just check that yeah, it is, um, yeah. as opposed to the player issue because it, it has that kind of like player issue type feel actually which which is good and I think you know the other thing about this crest is that they've done it um, just a couple of times which I quite like so they did it in the, the, the mid um uh, back when Ronaldo was there and they've kind of brought it back so it's like a recurring theme every sort of 10 years which I like I think that's a good thing that they yeah. don't just always do that um, I quite like the black as well, although I have seen a lot of fans say they prefer more traditional yeah, colour yeah. Way. Interestingly, the Adidas stripes on the shoulder are kind of disappearing yes. a bit there, aren't they? Yeah, and this is, I think, you know, again, it's kind of a, a taste thing, whether you prefer um, these kind of blended in sort of ghost stripes or whether you prefer contrasting lines. I actually quite like this. Um, and you do have that same, again, we'll probably have a picture, 
um, a sort of slightly different construction or slightly different fabric. Yeah. Um, which I think is good. And, you know, this, and to talk on the fabric, it's this sort of hexagon based pattern. Yeah, now, it's very honeycomb esque looking up. Yeah. Close. It's quite and, nice, actually. And as far fair. as I'm aware, we'll have to wait till we see more more kits as to whether this is going to be rolled out for other teams. But I, I would imagine this is probably uh, bespoke for United just because they've had this theme with, with previous kits and previous designs. So, yeah. So yeah, you know what? It is, it is one of those things. It does look good up However, close, the big thing that you always hate. Yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, basically, we're never going to see a good United kit because of this, unfortunately. It's just a horrible sponsor, isn't it? It's absolutely horrible. I, I don't want to labour the point that we've talked about before, but my main issue with well, most this... Most people on this channel wouldn't have seen us talk about this before because they've been new to it. So that's true. In general, so let's, talk about it. let's talk a little so bit more. Five reasons I hate the Chevrolet logo. <laughs> um, number one... They're basically just stubbornly that they don't change it. No matter what the kit, Homeware Third is exactly the same logo, and that just shows. Joe, you know what? I mean, when you think about other big brands, you think they might not do that, but they do actually. Some they actually do, do change do. it. Like a, 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 as a Man City fan, I've seen the Etihad thing change color a couple of times, exactly. that kind of stuff. They've tweaked it. They've tweaked, you know, the, the kind of size or whatever. Yeah. Um, the other thing is just the actual logo itself. Because it's kind of got this very, to me, it's a very dated kind of 3D effect. Yeah, it's so it like, terrible, it's it? so clip art kind it's of vibe. So, exactly. It and just it, looks like a really bad logo from that has been made in the early 2000s. It, it does. And, you know, I, it, it's not an issue of the kind of, the quality of the application is fine, but it's just the design of it looks terrible. It's, it's just a naff logo, isn't it? It looks naff. I mean, uh, isn't I, it weird how it's worse than some of the betting ones and they get garish <laughs> as anything, isn't it? Indeed, indeed. And, yeah, and just the colours itself, there's no attempt to sort of, Integrate it. Even the fact that they could have matched the gold with the gold of the crest, they haven't done that. Um, you know, I just think as well, uh, and this isn't necessarily a problem because a lot of brands do this, but to me, when you've got a big kind of design element yeah. and then the name as well, I mean, why not just have one one or the other to kind of strip it back? I guess they haven't. It shows that they haven't got faith in their branding there, just, by the way. For well, well. Exact, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's literally it, isn't I, it? I actually think without the Chevrolet word mark. Um, it would it would have something about it still wouldn't like the the, the cross bit but anyway I, I won't go any further it's just not a it's quite thing. telling that online looking around I've seen uh, loads of United fans just changing the sponsor for <laughs> old time yeah. sake putting Sharp or there A on there which says it all and they're doing yep. that you know they obviously hate the logo and it's kind of ruined yep. an okay shirt this isn't a great shirt in my humble opinion this is not letting my club bias come into it I just think it's a very Okay, yeah. sure. Um, interesting of the one version we've got here, the, the text isn't straight. So, like, yeah, it's been, I mean, obviously, that's not a design thing. It's Bit just of a printer now on the, on the travel it's, winners. Detail. It's literally wonky, it's which I guess really here, yeah. epitomizes the club that's not in the Champions League this year. Yeah, which yeah. I find hilarious personally. But in general, <laughs> um, Phil, how would you improve the shirt other than the, obviously the Chevrolet logo? Yeah, I think the main one, I'd, I just think I'd prefer to keep. So keep the crest potentially, but rather than have these kind of very, very specific details, I'd like to see something a bit more, a bit more creative. Um, you know, maybe take this idea of um, the honeycomb a bit further or even the star pattern. Now, this would maybe be controversial, but, you know, have rather than kind of specific time stamps for the goals i don't know something a bit more yeah. in, in the pattern or something and i think you know obviously the sponsor we don't really need to go any further on that one um no i think apart from that and i'd like to see uh, maybe this idea on the on the neckline and continue on the cuffs things like that could yeah be interesting so we've got our kit rankings up on the table now on screen so where i just put this up together it doesn't look great but it'll do you know what i mean essentially they had all the kits that we reviewed so far in 2019 we're, obviously we can't do every single kit in the world but we're doing a lot of them all the ones that people we think might be interested in essentially so we're currently at the top we've got ix's home kit then we've got lows around the 80s phil's been very generous this year so i think he's already regretting that um but it's, there's <laughs> yeah. been a lot of nice kits to be fair oh. uh and this is uh uh, this is the latest ent uh, entry to this. Phil, where is the United's home kit going to go here? Yeah, this is a tough one. I think looking at this um, immediately, this list immediately, it's definitely not in the 80s. No. I think even in the 70s, it's probably a push. Um, I, I probably agree, honestly. It, see it seems harsh, but I think... And, and, you know, to be fair, there, there's enough elements to keep it from, you know, sliding to sort of Celtic Juve territory there. It's, um, it's such a classic mid sixties kind of shirt, isn't it? It like, is. It does, you know, like, I, th I think. You know, I think if you give it out of ten, you'd be like six out of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah ex but, exactly. And I think, I think for what it's worth, it's a good six out of ten. You know, I think just because of things that I, I particularly really like. It sounds the honeycomb so, thing. The honeycomb thing. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Really nice. It? You know, it's, it's rare you see variations on fabric, and I do like the crest. Um, and again, I think you know. They've done a reasonable job. I think if we, if you kind of saw it without, if, if you guys had a good season, for example, I think you know you'd people like it more. Yeah, you like more if they're in the Champions League. I think so. Anyway, 
Uh, I'm going to give it a 68. A 68. Uh, which I think is more is it... positive having seen the shirt. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, that's the yeah. thing is, obviously, we can't get all the shirts as they come out, usually in time for the video. But having it, having it held, I need to wash my hands now. Personally, in general, <laughs> it is a little bit nicer in person, yeah. even being I'm trying to put my club loyalties to one side. Anyway, guys, uh, that is our review on the United shirt. Look forward to reading the comments, <laughs> see what you think of it too. Let us know yeah. what you make of it. Don't forget if you are new to 40.com, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're about to record immediately after this, which you'll see tomorrow uh, a review of the Ajax Away kit so make sure you stay tuned for that go check out some more reviews including Liverpool Chelsea and Dortmund Liverpool we had confirmed as well that uh, the City kit will come in July from Puma tweeting out yesterday so looking forward to that as well eventually right my name is Stephen this is Phil in a bit Stephen.